Hey everybody. Okay, so I got my little style black haul that I'm gonna show you guys today. Um, my overall impressions of the collection is that it's nice, but I don't think this is one where you can say there's something for everybody. Um, because it's really dark and there are a lot of people out there who don't like dark makeup, dark nail polish, that type, that whole type of thing. Um, I didn't get any lip products because they didn't really interest me that much. I don't really like really dark lipstick on me. I think it looks funny. Um, so I skipped those. I didn't get any of the, um, glimmer glass or whatever they were called because they didn't interest me either. Um, I was really interested in the mineral eyeshadows, um, which were really, really pretty. If you like mineral eyeshadows, and I don't really have a problem with them. Um, I have one other mineralized mineral eyeshadow from um, MAC, the little quad that came out with Colorcraft, I think. I don't know. But it works well for me. Um, mineral eyeshadow, the mineralized eyeshadows, in my opinion, do work best when they're wet. That's when you get the most um, pigmentation out of them. But the one I got is Young Punk, the pretty, pretty purple one. The All of them are pretty. Um, so, in that aspect, if you like sparkly eyeshadows, you'll probably find a color that you like. I did, I only got one. Um, well, I didn't get the gold one because I have a lot of gold eyeshadows. And I just think that's so typical, you know. A lot of brown skin girls go for golds and stuff like that. So I wanted to go for the purple. I know that's, that's probably like the second color that women of color reach, reach for is purple. But anyway, um, purple goes great with brown eyes. And, um, yeah, it just caught my attention. The blue, blue's not, sparkly blue is not really for me. And, um, this other one I just thought was not, it's just like silver and black. You know, like you could recre recreate that some other way, so. It's basically like a dark charcoal base, and then there's like the purple and pink glitter. So there you see all the glitter in it. And if we go back here, you can see more of just the purple color, what it looks like. So I just swatched them on my hand. So right here, we have it dry. You can really see how sparkly it is in the light. Um, dry, the pigmentation is fair. Um, I think when it's dry, it's a lot more wearable, even though it still has all that sparkling glitter in it. And over here, I applied it wet with um, Fix Plus. And, um, it's just, it just looks, it's darker. You can see this one is sheerer and this one is darker. So, I know a lot of people don't like mineral eyeshadows because you have to, you get the best color payoff when they're wet. And I actually, I wore it today. That's the dark over here. You can see in the light. And I did wear this to work today, <laughs> but it's, um, it's a Saturday, so my boss wasn't there, and I don't think it looks, like, unprofessional or anything, um, I just, because I kept it in the outer corner, and also, I think because of the shape of my eyes, when I open up my eyes, you don't see it as much, so, I don't think it looks all that crazy, and then on the, the rest of the lid, I just used shroom eyeshadow and tried to blend it, um, that's another thing, the mineral eyeshadows, um, especially when you use them wet, they can be a little tricky to blend, but it just takes practice, I guess. Okay, I also got two of the nail polishes from the collection. Um, I didn't get the black because I can't wear black nail polish to work, I don't think. But either way, I mean, I like really dark nail polishes, but not black. I like to have some hint of another color to it. So this one is Baby Goth Girl. It's really, really pretty. I'm sorry you can't really see them in the light, but they're so dark anyway that you wouldn't be able to tell. But you can kind of see a tinge of the color. It's like a purple, purpley reddish color. I don't know how to describe colors that well. Some type of like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. So you'll have to just go see it. And um, and then it has some other sparkles in it, some lighter color sparkles, like some type of almost like an amber sparkle. And I painted on my finger nail. It's really, really dark. 
basically looks black. You can't really see anything. Then the other one I have is Seriously Hip. Both of these are frost. That's the formula finish to it. Um, it's black and gold with like a green cast. It's, you know, it's not just straight gold. It has like a green tinge to it. So they're both really pretty for fall. And next to each other, you can kind of see the contrast in the color. And I did that one on my middle finger. And this is just one coat, but still you can't really see that much of a diff. Well, you can see the difference in the color, but they're really, really dark. And that's another thing. I was like, hot. I don't know if I can wear these doors. So, sorry. I um, tried these on last night, and then this morning I was like, I have to take them off. So, I was using a tissue, balled up roll of tissue paper, tissue, whatever, toilet paper, and then just some regular um, nail polish remover. And I want to see if I can capture again what happened. So like I said, this is like one coat, and then I just took, you know, like I was taking it off like normal. And if you just like, it will probably be better if you have like two coats on. But if you just like wipe gently, I don't know if you can see it, but I feel like you can see much more of the color and the sparkle comes through. But like I said, you're probably going to have to put on two coats and then just gently wipe off. You see it a little bit more, I guess just because it kind of shears it out a little bit. I don't know. So maybe less coats. I don't know. But I'm going to figure out a way to get the sparkle to show up. I'm going to figure that out and then I'll let you guys know. Um, What else did I get? I got um, the Volcanic Ash products. This is the exfoliator, and the tube is actually clear, so the black that you're seeing is actually the exfoliator. And um, I and I also got the mat, the mask, and the mask is black, but the container is black, so you can't really see it. But um, I used these last night. And they are really, 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 really good. Um, I wash my face um, just with a really gentle cleanser by Neutrogena. And then I use um, the exfoliator. And it's really, really cool because um, it has like the particles in it that exfoliators have. But they disappear after a while of rubbing it in. So it's kind of like gives you a timeline of how long you should be rubbing it into your skin so it's like you don't do it too long because after they um, dissolve you're like okay you've rinsed it off you know so you're not just scrubbing away your skin and then it just it it lathers up just a tiny bit and it looks so cool I, I didn't think it looked gross or anything and it has a light scent to it it kind of smells a little bit like aftershave like men's aftershave and then the thermal mask is really, really cool. While your face and your hands are wet, you rub it on, and it does warm up. It doesn't get too hot, but um, I'd say it, it gets a little bit warmer than other um, heating facial products that I use. I used um, the Biore Thermal Scrub or Cleanser or whatever it was, and that didn't get really warm. But this gets pretty warm, but it's not, like, irritating or anything, and it's only for, like, a minute. And then you just leave this on for five minutes and rinse it off and my skin after using both of them together my skin felt really really soft and smooth and um, I have like oily skin I didn't always have oily skin but since I've gotten old, older it's gotten oilier and um, today I put on my foundation and everything and usually by the middle of the day my face is really really oily but today it wasn't and it looks it looks the same as it basically did this morning, so that's really, really good. So I'm going to keep using these, and I might have to buy more, because if I really, I mean, so far I really, really like it, and it kind of sucks that they're limited edition, because it's not really a good idea to ha have, like, fall into a, a regimen, and you can't really get the stuff. But, um, yeah, so those are my thoughts on that, and, um... Maybe I'll, I'll probably try and do a look with this eyeshadow, something fun for nighttime. Um, but yeah, that's about it, and I hope you guys enjoyed my haul and everything. Alright, so if you have any questions, 
let me know. But that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.